soulful sound and beautiful looks will distract you. But please, don't be fooled as she is truly talented. The sheer intensity of expression that she can muster is very impressive. She has the natural ability to control her voice and push her vocals. So please, don't sleep as she is not one to be missed. Today, I have a chat with Olivia Louise. Welcome everyone to another episode of Any Views. I'm gonna have this special guest introduce herself. This is Olivia Louise. Hey, there we go. Hi, yeah. How you doing, love? I'm good, thank you. Yes. Despite Finally, we've got you here. <laughs> yeah, despite my stressful journey down. I know, I know. I know. Not from London. Nope. Wow. Where is, where is it you're from? Chester. Chester. But to anybody who has no idea where that is, um, <laughs> think of Hollyoaks. You know, Hollyoaks uh, and okay. TV, that's that set in Chester. Oh, okay. So it's by um, Liverpool and Manchester, kind of uh, somewhere in between. Okay, cool. We're going to get right into it. Skin Deep. Tell me the story behind Skin Deep. Um, I wrote Skin Deep because I was just like floating through Twitter and things like that. Mm -hmm. And one sort of person, I don't, I don't really know who it was, it was retweeted or something, mm -hmm. quoted, I saw them quoting one day, um, what did they say? Something about Nicki Minaj being the perfect woman and looking great and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then not long after tweeted something about how he hated how girls were shallow and things like that. And I was like, you're confused, what do you want? Like, <laughs> you say that you want a girl that's deep, but then you think them, so I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. So then Moteliola, he sent me the beat and yeah. then I just started freestyling to it and it kind of came out like that. Very cool. It was set in Paris. Oh, the video, yeah. yeah the video was yeah, we Paris. went to Paris. Okay. That was really random. We mm. drove there just in the Sweet. day. Yeah, we drove there and drove back in 24 hours. Wow. But how long did it normally take to, how long did it normally take to film it? We only, well, by the time we got into Paris, we only had about two and a half hours before we had to go back to get on the ferry. Wow. So we were just like, quick time, let's get it done. Okay, it's really good though. You look, got some good scenes in there, yeah. some good shots in there. I mean, how long have you been doing music for? I've been writing songs since, um, since I can remember, since I was about eight, seven. Wow. Yeah, forever I've been writing songs. Okay. And it was only in my um, four or five years ago, which I really started kind of, yeah. I started singing for MCs yeah. for a few years. Mm -hmm. Then I kind of ventured off onto my own thing about three years ago. Okay, cool. I just listened to the latest track on your SoundCloud that was with uh, Rome. Oh yeah. Roll it like, was you actually smoking at the time? Which, when I wrote that? it? Yeah, when you was, was Do you know what, I, I wasn't smoking at the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any in, like I went to my box and there was none there and I was like, mm, man, and then, and then I started writing. Okay, cool. How long did that take to make anyway? That track? Yeah. Um, I don't know, about half an hour. Wow. It takes you quick to write something, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, not all the time, but yeah. so if it's kind of something that's just on my mind and I need to get it off my chest, it just comes out like that. Now you've collaborated with quite a few UK artists, established and up and coming. Like, yeah. Because not only Mango did a collaboration with DJ Target as well. How is it that you managed to find all these collaborations. Um, How did they come about even? You know? Okay, it comes out because I'm a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> and I meet everyone. At least you're being honest. At I'm least you're being honest. Least and you're being and honest. Um, Twitter, like because I live so far away, I mm. can't just like roll to events and kind of like network and mingle. Mm. I have to like actively like sort people out like through, yeah. the, through the web and on Twitter like this. Mm. So ev everyone that I kind of met has more or less been through Twitter, mm. other than Manga really, who um, I met I, was do I did a performance at an event that he was at and I met him there, we got yeah. talking and stuff and then that, so that's how I, I actually met him in person but everybody else was kind of... Through, through, just, Twitter. through, through Twitter? Yeah. Wow, the power of social media. Yeah. Where are you hoping to go with this? Like obviously you're a singer now, where you, yeah. is there any more attributes that you have to you as well? Singer, songwriter as well? Yeah, um, I write songs for other people as well. Oh. And um, I'm working with a, an American producer mm -hmm. called That Boy Good at the moment. Mm -hmm. He's just done a track with Wale. Wow. And yeah, he's great, he's amazing. And we're writing reference songs at the moment for quite big artists, so it's just about getting that right song. How does it, obviously, I know you've got a family of your own and that. Do they motivate you or are they behind you 100%? My family are incredible, they're like yeah. amazing. You know, like most, and most artists that I know, like when they tell their parents that they want to do, like they want to sing or they want to act or they want to do this yeah. kind of thing, parents kind of, oh, get a real job, get a thing. My parents are the type of people to be like, quit the day job. Focus on the dream. They're wow. so so supportive. You need more parents like that. Yeah, amazing. they're amazing. Okay, cool. So, did you ever do performing arts? Did you ever go to school and stuff like that? I kind of wish I would have. I mean, I, I went to uni, did mm. something completely separate. I did like childhood and family studies. Of course. Something that I really don't want to do. <laughs> but I wish I kind of had have done like creative writing yeah. at uni. So then that would have kind of 
drifted into what I'm doing now. Yeah. yeah. Who or what inspires you? Everything that I'm going through. Yeah. Although that sounds really cliche, but yeah. I kind of see it like as my songs are kind of like um, a diary. That's a cliche question as well, anyway. So, <laughs> but everyone, everyone has a different reason. Yeah. yeah so that's what I'm asking. You say in your diary? Yeah, my songs are like a diary. Mm -hmm. So like when I listen back to my music, yeah. instead of like, you know, some people like write things down or expressing to people, like I find it easier to like get it out in a song than actually talk like one to one. Like sometimes my boyfriend gets mad at me because he'll like won't know what's up with me, then he'll hear a song and he'll be like, mm. so that's how you was feeling then. So that's what's up. So yeah, it's kinda like my diary okay. with my music. What was it like? How was it like even to be one of the finalists of the K get rated? Ah, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited because they've got the um, the awards are in two weeks time. Yes. And we've been invited to go along as well. So they're going to announce the winner, the winner at the awards. So I'm so excited. Have you collaborated with anyone that you've been on the panel with? No, but me and Reload, yeah. um, we met, we did we did like a little performance with KA um, a couple of weeks ago. And we met there and like we've been talking and things like that. We're definitely going to work together. He's really cool. Have you ever tried to do, like, apply for the music shows like X Factor? No, do you know, they've, they've approached me like um, for a couple of years no. on the run and I've just said no, it's not for me. Why is that? You didn't want to go down that route? Yeah, it's just not, the whole, the whole show is just not for me. Like, it's more like a karaoke. Like, I mm. don't like doing covers anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I like doing my own material yes. and I'm not that kind of artist that they want. It's not the route for me. It's not for you. So no. what, how would you describe your sound then? Who would you? Uh, you sound uh, do you know what this is the hardest question everybody asks me this yeah. um, I don't know because I always make different music depending on how I feel mm -hmm. so like sometimes I'll do garage or sometimes I'll do R&B yeah. then I might do like a bit of soul or like I've done like a country rock track with somebody before and then so just kind of different kind of sound yeah I, su I suppose people would probably hear me more on a, on a garagey R&B kind of sound yeah of course, yeah. Of course but as in you personally what kind of music do you feel like you like making the most um, it depends what mood I'm in. Mm. I do like R and B. Yeah. I love doing, mm. and then garage. Garage, yeah. Yeah. Garage. Who's your favourite garage artist? Okay, so like old school like singers and stuff like Shola. Yeah. Shola okay. was like, um, then Artful Dodger. Okay. Take, you know. So who would you like to collaborate with in the future? Um, oh, Gats, and he knows this already. We spoke oh, about yeah. it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've said, I've, do you know what, right? I've been, I've sto I've been stalking him right now. <laughs> I've been stalking him. And like every, every interview that I've had, and everyone's asked me, I've always said, Gats, 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 just so like kind of weird. And kind of floats back to him in the end. Yeah. And, um, and he hit me up the other day on Twitter, and he was like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Sweet. So, I don't know when it's going to be happening, but. Hopefully, sometime soon. Yeah, the stalking paid off. Definitely. <laughs> what more, what makes of it to you personally? What keeps you going? Because I know that sometimes. Especially in this business, you get doubts. You obviously start to doubt yeah. yourself. Things are not coming your way as quick as you would like. Yeah. What motivates you? What keeps you going? Um, my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Just because. Well, obviously, I love music, and that's all I want to do. Is you know. But I just think about her and like I want to be a role. It's not even about you know the life or whatever that might come with music. I, I just want to be a role model for her as well, really, and just to show that if you there's something that you want to do, just go do it. Can she sing too? No, yeah. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> she tries. Okay. Yeah, but not yet. She yeah. writes songs and poems, so she? she starts starting off like how I started off. So, mm, okay, cool. yeah. All right, we're gonna play a game. You're gonna tell me one truth, okay. one lie about you, and I'm gonna say the same. Uh, I'm gonna try and guess. Okay. Oh no. I have um, a birthmark which looks a bit like a continent. Okay. I can't swim. Can't swim is a lie. You don't have a birthmark, but that looks like a continent. I do have a birthmark, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. You can't swim? No, I'm not like no. I can't. Oh my god, I can't play this game. I don't want again. <laughs> I can't play the game. <laughs> one truth, one lie. One truth. Well, what was true about that? <laughs> yeah, the birthmark was true, and the lie was I can't swim. Yeah. So I did it right. You did do it right, but I was just asking, did you? <laughs> you can't swim. Uh, I'm having a blonde moment. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do yours now? Um, awesome. I've never been in love. Okay. Um, and I've only had one girlfriend. Right, I think that... <laughs> do you say you've only had one girlfriend? So that's the truth. So the lies that you've never been in love? Yes, that's the truth. Did I get it right? Yes, you got it right. Oh. Yeah, there you go. See, you're yeah, good I'm getting at it. it. I'm getting you're it now. Good at well, I'm yeah, so sorry, why is it? I can't, I can't process it. I should have had some pre-warning about this. <laughs> How are you finding London? I love London. Yeah? 
yeah, I, I don't so much love traveling around everywhere, but I do love like just the, yeah. Okay, so you grew up in Chester? Yeah. Have you traveled anywhere else, like to LA or Miami? Or no, anything? I've never been outside of Europe. Never? Boring, no. I want to go to America though. Yeah. I will go to America in the future. I like that. Put that into prison. Yeah, place. I will go to America. 100%. But um, yeah, I've not really been to any exotic places yet. No? Yet. Yet. Name me one thing that drives you crazy. I think it drives me crazy. My neighbours. Really? Yeah, I've got new neighbours and they're absolutely horrific. <laughs> They're just awful. You better hope they don't see this, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, really I don't care if they see it, they know. <laughs> they know they're driving me mad. They just have no ambition. That's what drives me crazy. Okay, unambitious. Cool. When someone unambitious. Yeah. Okay, cool. If you was a biscuit, what biscuit would you be and why? Oh. I guess I'll be a Oreo. Oreo? Why Oreo? Because tasty, man. Tasty, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be a sweet t-shirt. Yeah. Okay, cool. Up and coming events. Any shows that you're going to be doing? Let me know. Yeah, I've got um, 27th of September, mm. Renz's EP launch. Renz's EP launch? Yeah, okay. in Shoreditch. Um, I'm performing oh. um, there, just a track with him that we've worked on. Okay. And then I have, they kind of just pop up as and when, mm -hmm. but I've got the Urban Weekender mm -hmm. in November, which there's like wrecked and storms in, loads of great artists there, and that's in Southport, so it's a bit of a travel for new lot, but it's be worth it because there's going to be loads of amazing artists there. What about your own material, your, your own music? Yeah. Are you releasing an EP? Yeah, um, it's, everybody always asks me this because I always put random tracks out all the time. Mm -hmm. I have had an EP ready for like a year and a half. It was been wow. recorded ages ago, yeah. But I've just been waiting. Um, for the right time? Yeah, because I just figured I could put it out now, but I just want the maximum amount of people who will be able to hear it to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it's kind of getting to the right time now. Yeah. So um, maybe two months. Oh, two months. Yeah, okay, cool. I think I might drop it. I'll there. be tweeting you. Yeah. I'll be tweeting you for sure. Um, everyone's got bad traits. What would you say yours is? Um, I talk too fast. <laughs> I think too much. Probably those. Yeah, I overthink yeah. everything. Yeah. And then it comes out in a song. Yeah, that's what the best way an artist can relieve their stress yeah. anyway. <laughs> studio. When was the first time you entered a studio? Six years ago now. Um, with DJ Louie, who was an old school like garage producer. So we thought Joe Kramatz in one and stuff, and then he was like, I'll come and record it. So the first time I ever went was with him. And then I started singing for a group of MCs. Okay. Um, Chaos, who is absolutely amazing, and he makes music now. Mm -hmm. He took me, and then that's how I really got into it. Yeah. And I was so terrified, I sent everyone out of the building. <laughs> What's been your most memorable experience? My most memorable experience has been um, singing at BBC Made Vale Studios um, last year, singing to Trevor Nelson and Etta Bond and Getz, and that was just amazing. Are you good at freestyling? Do you not going to try and make me freestyle, not freestyle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sorry. No, do you know what? I've got, I can do it. Yes. Not under pressure though. If I'm at home or I'm on the mic or I'm in the yeah. studio, I can do it. Okay, cool. What's your dream? <laughs> Do you, do you want to be? My dream is to be um, an established artist in my own right yeah. and to be a successful songwriter for other established artists as well. Do you feel any pressure at all to be like keep up with the times and just um, being consistent and stuff? Or do you feel like you're just in your own yeah. world and you release music when you want to, there's not really that pressure? Yeah, pressure. I try not to think about that and I do not compare myself because comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. And I know that my voice is... Um, you know, I haven't got, I know my, my strengths and my weaknesses, I haven't got a great big massive ballad voice. I know what I can do and what I can't, so I stick to what I can. What's the funniest pickup line someone's ever used on you? Um, I'm so, this is one of my bad traits by the way, not being able to think under pressure as well. <laughs> okay, it's not really a pickup line, but, oh no, someone did tweet me something on Twitter about wanting to do something to my toes. Wait, I don't know what, what? wanting to suck some kind of hot sauce off my toes or something like that. <laughs> that didn't go down too great. Do you know what's the worst? Um, oh, when people want to work. Oh, this is it. Oi! This is how it approached me <laughs> in, in the DM. Oi! You gonna do me a feature or what? That's my London accent. <laughs> Oi! You doing a feature for me or what then? And then I'm like, excuse me? Hello? Um, really? Is this how you approach somebody? So like, that is really irritating me and that happens like quite a lot. Oh, you're sick in it. Let's do a feature. It's like, well, you don't even ask me. You don't even approach me in any kind of, like, <laughs> professional kind of way. Who's your favourite artist at the moment? Who do you listen to, like, what, what's um, your iPhone? Like, like every, day, every day, I listen to, <laughs> at the moment, Bonkers' new EP. Okay. 
And Manga's. Manga's. Manga's new one. Yeah. I, I absolutely love The Reluctant Adventure. Everybody needs to get that. It's so He's so underrated. He's amazing. <laughs> and, and Bonkers, forgive me when I'm famous at the moment. I'm killing that. Okay. I've noticed that you've never mentioned not one American artist at all. That's really odd, though, because I do love... Uh, there's, like, on my phone, like, Tink. Okay. Tink's incredible. Um, she reminds me of, like, a lot of the old-school R&B, you mm. know, kind of. She's amazing. Tink. There's these two women called Ocean, mm-hmm. um, who are, like, conscious. They're, like... They remind me of Lauren Hill, actually. They're amazing. Really, really good to check them out. And then, I'm Mick Jenkins. I like Mick Jenkins as well. Yeah. You really like with the underground scene, the up and coming people. Yeah, I don't really listen to um, mainstream mainstream artists. A lot of artists that I listen to, nobody has a clue who they are. Thank you so much for coming down. But Thank you for having me. Go, I need you to sign my Wall of Fame. Ah. Oh. Yes. You've been added to the Wall of Fame. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Miss Olivia Louise, for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. I've learned so much, and I know you really like grams. So you're <laughs> on your thing. Literally. She's going to take it away for us. Oh, I love this. Skin deep. You say you're so, you're so sick and tired Of me in the same kind of women But sure she's attractive and her body is banging But when you get together it's like just shorts and pleasure Cause she don't know a stimulate all your needs she don't ever ask you about your